This video is going to show you how to polish an aluminum wheel. This uh, aluminum wheel is on our RV, but it would be the same for any aluminum wheel. It'll be a lot easier if you take the center hub cap off on the front one, not the rear one though, and pull the lug nut covers off. The lug nut pliers works really well for this. It'll make the job a lot faster and it'll save your knuckles. You can see sometimes some of them are kind of hard to pull off. And some of them are so loose you wonder why they don't fall off, but they don't. Step one is remove the oxidation and the water spots with Bush's aluminum cleaner. It's a nice product because it saves you a lot of time polishing out oxidation and water spots that normally take a long time. It's a phosphoric acid, but a milder version of the ones they use in truck stuff sometimes. Spray the cleaner um, to cover the wheel and you can see it'll foam up. And then you're just going to let it that for a few minutes, but don't let it dry. I'm washing it off with um, just a bucket of water, but you can also use a garden hose. Washing it off is going to do two things. It's going to remove the aluminum cleaner, and it's also going to clean the wheel, so you can go straight to polishing without having to clean the wheel. Now we're going to polish the wheel with Bush's aluminum polish. You don't have to dry the wheel off first. Um, there's somewhat of a water base to the polish, so it doesn't hurt it just to go straight to polishing. If you're doing a rear wheel, you might have to wipe some of the water out from the um, well. As you can see, I use a small cloth, maybe about 8 inches by 8 inch. It's terry cloth. And um, the smaller you can get your cloth, the less polish is going to get swung around all over the tire and over you. And you'll save a lot of polish because in the end you're going to be filling that cloth up with polish. And then just start polishing in the direction of the wheel. You can see your cloth getting blacker. That's the um, interaction of the aluminum polish and the aluminum on your wheel. And that's okay. The blacker your cloth gets, the easier it's going to be to polish and the faster polishing will go. So even if you're on your second or third wheel, use the same cloth. As long as your wheel's clean, use the same cloth and you don't have to fill a new cloth up with polish and get it black all over again. You can see I'm cleaning the inside of the hand holes, but that's a little bit different finish than the outside of the wheel, so you'll never get those as shiny, but you will get them clean and they'll look nice. After you've been polishing a while, you'll start to feel the wheel getting smoother underneath your cloth. And that just means you're getting close to being finished, that there's a nice shine underneath it. And um, getting in between the lug nut, the lug nuts is probably the toughest place 
the friction of the lug nut covers against the aluminum causes little pitting in the wheel. You'll never probably get that all out, but they'll be covered by the covers anyway. Then take a clean terry cloth towel and just start wiping off the wheel and you'll start to see your shine come up. If there's any places that you miss that it still looks dull, just grab your cloth, polish a little bit more, and then continue to buff it out. The entire wheel took me 21 minutes, so you can see I've cut out some of the polishing just to shorten up this video, but you can also see it doesn't take too much time. You'll start to get a chrome-like shine. And then I finish up the buffing with the microfiber or an old soft t-shirt. Just makes it extra shiny. Now the third step, the final step, will be Bush's wax and sealant, and the wax will keep your wheel shinier for much longer. Shake it really well, and then this is going to be applied much like you would apply wax on your car. You'll be just covering the wheel with it, letting it dry, and then um, buffing it out. This whole step will take only about five minutes. It dries pretty fast and it buffs out really quickly. So as you can see, you're starting to um, have a lot of different cloths for different things, but just keep them separate. You throw it on top of the bottle of wax. You'll know that that's the one you're using to apply the wax. And um, of course, you'll know what your polishing cloth looks like and use them for all the wheels on your RV. Once it's dry, just take your microfiber, the same one you used to um, polish out your wheels the first time, and wipe it off. You'll have that same chrome-like shine, only now you'll have a coating of wax on it. And this is a really um, good wax to put on in between polishing. Say a couple of months from now, you'll start to see a little oxidation or something. You can use this wax and sealant. It's got a little bit of polish in it. Put it on, wipe it off, and your wheel will look almost just polished. So just a once over with your microfiber and the wheel looks just like it did when you finished polishing it. You'll notice in the beginning of the video I handed the covers off to someone to polish them. Now they've come back to me all shiny. That center hub is a little bit difficult to get back in. You have to line it up just so. It takes a few minutes, but it's worth it because it's so much easier to polish behind it. The lug nut covers go back on. Some lug nut covers are made of different materials. Ours are plastic with a um, chrome finish on them. 
Most of them go back on pretty easy. Some of them have to get the lug nut pliers out and jiggle them back on. Once all the lug nut covers are on, you can see how much nicer it makes the wheel look. Let's get the fingerprints off it and any wax that might have come off your hand. Now you need to clean the tire to make it look really good. I use bushes tire cleaner. I don't like the tire cleaners that have that greasy look on them, but that's just my preference. Bush's tire cleaner leaves a matte black finish. It cleans everything off the tire, but doesn't leave it all shiny. It's got no petroleum products in it, so the dirt and dust is not going to stick to it. And it removes all the polish and the aluminum cleaner from the tire. I don't spray it directly on the tire because then it splatters on my newly polished wheel. This is what your wheel and your tire is going to look like when you're finished. Important note about aluminum wheels. If your aluminum wheels have a stamp on them like this photo, AccuRide AccuShield, or a stamp like this photo, Alcoa Durabrite wheels. Do not use any polishing products on your wheels. They only